Today's video is going to be a little bit different, and I think it'll be very interesting as well. This here is a game called Ecstatica, which is an action-adventure game released by Psygnosis. And you can sort of see from looking at the, at the pictures on the back, on the screenshots, it's... It was, used, it was made using something called ellipsoid technology, where instead of polygons in 3D, they had these sort of um, circular 3D um, ellipses and uh, spheres and things like that to put together the models in a different way. It looked sort of cool. However, there's been a bunch of talk in the retro community recently about there being a Windows version of this game. This is the DOS version, but apparently there was a Windows version of this game that was released later that had a better quality graphics and looks a lot cooler, actually. Unfortunately, nobody seems to know how this version was released or what it looked like or what it came with. Was it an OEM version or what? So I decided to try an experiment here. There's a company online called cdaccess.com. It's been around for years and years and years and years. They don't take any new stock anymore, but they still have a lot of old stock. I went ahead and bought this copy of Ecstatica, the DOS CD-ROM version, for 10 bucks, which is a really nice price. It's brand new in the box. It's here on eBay. It usually goes for a lot more. So you want to check out cdaccess.com. And then they also had two versions of Ecstatica 2, one of which said was just Ecstatica 2, and the other one which said it came with Ecstatica 1 in the box. And I thought, hmm... Is it possible that the one that comes with one in the box is the Windows version of one? That would be really super cool. So I decided to buy them both and see what, what's what's inside. Now, I opened this shipping box from CD Access. The first thing that came out was this guy. The second thing that came out was this guy over here, which is Ecstatica 2. And when I saw this, I was really disappointed because if you can see, there's a sticker on it that says... Mail in for free copy of Ecstatica 1, details inside. And I was like, oh, man, there's not really a copy of Ecstatica 1 in here. It's just some kind of mail-in, which is not good anymore. And I was like, okay, well, this is a waste of time. But then I took the last thing out of the box. I'm moving this aside for a second. It's another copy of Ecstatica 2. And this time, there's no sticker there. There's a post-it outside the shrink wrap that says contains both. Now, I compared these two copies together. I looked at the front. I looked at the back. And you can see the graphics on the back are nicer than the, than the Ecstatica 1. It's a different engine. I think it uses Windows. But the backs, to me, look completely the same. I couldn't find any difference at all. The top <laughs> looks the same. The sides look the same. You can see that. The other side looks the same. The bottom looks the same. Even the UPC code is the same. So from the outside, I never would have known there's anything else in this box. But the proprietor of cdaccess.com says there is. And he, he put a post-it note saying it contains both. It actually weighed both of these boxes just now. This one weighs about 10 ounces. And this one weighs 13 and a half ounces. So there's definitely something different inside here. I'm going to open it. This, I'm going to open just this one up for now because I think we know this is the standard copy of Ecstatica 2. I'm going to open just this one now. We can see what's inside and go from there. So let's see what, what we got in here. It's a really nice, solid, sturdy box. And by the way, CD Access has lots of copies of this. They only had a couple of copies of the original Ecstatica 1 and even only a couple of copies of the Ecstatica 2 that comes with the mail-in thing, but this one, they have like 60 copies, so it might be a trip you'll buy it pretty soon. All right, so what do you got in here? All right, well, there's definitely two copies of the game, or two, cop two different games, rather, inside with a cardboard insert, nothing really else inside there. They have a little, looks like a poster. Oh, it's a map. So I assume this is a map for Ecstatica 2. I have not played the game. I'm just going to have to assume that. There's a registration card for free issue of PC Games Magazine. And then I have the Ecstatica 2 jewel case with the CD inside. Looks unblemished. It looks like there's a manual here that goes inside the jewel case. And I'll, t I'll take it out just for the interest and excitement of my viewers. Yep. There's a story of what's going on here. 
Installation instructions for Windows 95 or DOS. How to control the game, etc. Statistics, magic scrolls, enemies, technical support, etc. So that's number two. Now for number one, I got this other jewel case. Might be the same one. Oh, wait a second. It says on here, for Windows 95, also includes DOS version. That is very promising, I must say. Let's open up the jewel case here. Try to get out the manual. There we go. Here's a story. It looks like there's two options here, Windows 95 installation or DOS installation. Looks like the exact same as before. DOS, you type install, Windows 95 will auto run using DirectX, apparently. So it really sounds like there's definitely two different versions here, DOS and Windows. I, I feel like we probably hit the jackpot. There's also a demo of Ecstatica 2 on the CD-ROM. So I, I don't know when this was... This is so weird. Maybe they, maybe they remade it and they meant to sell it separately and then they ended up bundling it with an Ecstatica 2 but not even writing on the box. <laughs> not even writing on the box and it has it in there and only the this, this post-it note will tell you. So that would mean there's probably copies on eBay that also have this. I've seen some still Ecstatica 2 on Ebays. Maybe some of them have Ecstatica 1 also but you never know unless you guess the guy to weigh it for you or unless you buy it from cdaccess.com where the guy is has thoughtfully put the post-it notes on. He must have been told by his distributor many, many years ago that that's the case. So, you know what? I I'm tempted to open up this Ecstatica 1 to see what that uh, that uh, CD looks like. But I think I'll save that maybe for a separate video. I'm, I'm really assuming at this point this is it. And uh, I'll test it out to double check. But there will probably be some follow-up videos to this. Hope you guys found that really interesting. And... Don't make a run on uh, CD Access. Save a couple copies for other guys out there. If you like this video, hit the like button. Please subscribe to the channel. Please share with your friends. And have a really great day, everybody.